Okay. I have to say, I'm not a fan of um, people using engines against me. I, I have to say that. It might be a little bit bad of me saying that. Maybe I'm not supposed to say that. Maybe I'm supposed to go, yes, everybody just use an engine against me. You know, come along, you know. Um, it's not fair. It ain't, it's not right. Um, it's not big. It's not clever. And I don't understand why they'd want to do that. The reason I can say this is because I get the um, notifications from the system saying that, you know, you were um, beaten by a fair play violator. So, I get quite a few of them. And I don't understand why, you know, because I'm not a grandmaster, I'm, not, I'm nobody. So why would what somebody want to use an engine against me? You know? I don't, I don't get it. Anyway, we're playing a long game. 45 minutes. 10 seconds game. Let's go here. I make enough mistakes by myself as it is. So I don't need somebody else using an engine on top of that. You know? You've seen my games. <laughs> right. What we got? We're looking at the creative brain aspect, aren't we? So let's go here and the logicalization. Trying to use the creative at the right moment. I'm not sure what this knight move was. So we're going to get either a bishop or a knight, unless of course he's got some magic here, which he has with the... But I'm not too bothered about that, actually. He can have that. Because we've got bigger fish to fry. Let's go here. We'll see why in a minute. Creative brain overload. He's thinking of a way to get his knight out. Best way is if he wants to double up my pawns is, you know, to go here. Because the knight's trapped, so he's trying to figure a way of saving his knight. The knight can't be saved. <laughs> what did I say? Taking a pawn or something. Okay, let's just grab here. So he'll be okay trading off his rook when we put our rook here. So they'll be feeling quite happy. That's when the pawn takes, yeah, okay. So I'll just swing this through here. Some would say don't give up the rook, keep it, but I might as well take advantage of the half decent-ish position I've got, which is like an open file, and see if I can work my pieces towards this king area. the queen moves, we've got some sort of traction here ah, well okay I'm going to go with the knight anyway just reduce down, I know I'm less, less pieces materially but less pieces he's got then the less things he can do, if he's got a flat rook then he's going to have to jostle the rook working with the queen we've got a flexible bishop i'm just squeezing this in here got a flexible bishop flexible knight maybe we can get them working and we've got ages yet so we've got here dead quick and getting that out of the way Rook wants to come and protect this because the Queen wants to get into action it wants to get busy it's not done that it's gone onto a white square it's not protecting the pawn here Okay. Knight could get busy. I'm just trying to figure out which is the best way. Down to come back up. Up. But if it goes up, then I suppose it can come down. And then around. 
around but it's blocking the bishop it's something to do with the knight I'm bringing it here so he's doing a bit of jostling with his old queen here this is why I'm thinking if we kept to I think my knight will get trapped though won't it if I start thinking I'm being fancy coming here and it lets me get all the way up to here then his queen just comes across and starts mm. <laughs> um, we do have the bishop attacking the pawn here but his queen is actually protecting there ah it's all cleverness isn't it let's give it a try So if it got to there and it got to there, that would be funny, wasn't it? Oh, he's going for an exchange. And then he's got the pawn here if we don't exchange. If we come here, his queen takes the pawn. Queen takes the pawn and the knight can't jump here because the queen will be here. But we can put a check on his king with our queen. Okay, let's do that. That's the only thing I'm thinking. I'm just getting a momentary check on his queen. And then we'll look at whatever later. Go there, then the knight can jump here. So then we've got pressure on this pawn. Oh, he's not falling for anything, he's blocking it all off. Gonna end up in that position, aren't we? Oh, what's the deal? If we go here, this king drops down. Let's put the picture in. King, this king drops down, attacking the knight. goes to put a check on king drops here queen drops down putting the check on rook comes down comes down where do we go from there is it a white square white square king drops down knight drops so he goes there bishop comes here Pinning the rook. Queen looks to cause some havoc. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go with that. That's going way too much actually, but never mind. Oh, it might have been four, might it? They've resigned. Hmm. Okay, let's have a look at the analysis on that. It looked interesting, but I didn't know if it was a winner or not. Well, the arrows are looking good. Oh, yeah, okay, let's crack on. Let's have a look at this situation. Okay, all that's nice and basic, straightforward stuff there. And this was the moment. Oh, it's not saying anything bad at all. I, I felt okay with that though. I've, I've been in that situation a few times. 
it gives the opponent confidence so that's a good thing so it didn't drop too badly it's giving him even because he's, he's up the exchange and the pawn take was wrong yeah but I wasn't fussed about that I wasn't fussed because the knight wasn't going to get away so why would I rush to actually get it okay so that's showing out and out winning for white <laughs> okay so the knight moves and we capture it back so it's not interested in capturing back at all so I should have taken the pawn with a check on the king there I missed that trick didn't I missed that trick okay so we're fighting from the back here white white's winning at the moment but in my head I'm thinking well he's got a flat rook and he's got this knight that's coming down looking to cause trouble it looks like it's going to get taken off the board so it gets taken off it's more a material thing than anything else because positionally I felt okay in this situation so just squeezing everything through because really it's just got a rook and a queen and the rook hasn't got an open file apart from this one next to the king and he's not getting there yet so I'm feeling okay with the knight move explained it and at this stage here it's um, showing oh it's showing quite good for us I don't know if I made that move did I no I didn't make the queen but I moved the knight then the rook comes down oh it did go on the dark squares the queen oh, okay it doesn't like the white square one interesting so if we've gone there oh free rook why, why didn't I see that my gosh I'm there thinking I'm gonna move the knight here to put a check on the king just little things like this how am I missing them right next game